a lot of people are talking about uh, inline edit for uh, SAF laser, and they are uh, requesting that in a lot of tickets, and I think that that will be coming. It's just uh, not here yet. They uh, expect to, to, to release it in the next iteration. It's already in SAF in the DX grid, uh, I believe so. Not 100% sure now, but let's review how we can implement our own solution on that. So we have this inline edit solution here, and actually we can even see it in action. So basically here, as you see, we have the grid, and we can edit it right from here. So Oche, the address, main, uh, the city, whatever. So this is something that is being uh, widely used in SAF Wing, in SAF uh, web. We have inline edit, we have batch edit, and, but we still don't have it in places. So how can we go about that? So let's review quickly what we have in here. So we have a Blazor project, and we are going to be using the capability of creating our own custom templates inside every column of the grid. So if we go to the editor, we, first let's review the, the business object. So we have a domain object one, nothing crazy, it has a name, a city, an address, and zip code, nothing else. So the things that we have to take a look here is that we're going to be modifying a template for each column because we need that to be an editable template. And in this case, you will see that it's a tightly coupled to the, the address, the name. We even call it a cell edit address, cell edit city. But I think that if we're going to do this generic, we will do it by type, like for a string, for a daytime, for Boolean, and so on. This is just a sample just to, to, to show how it works. And then we have for controller. So basically what the controller is doing is only telling us, okay, we're going to take the, the DX grid adapter and we're gonna iterate from the columns. And in the case that the column is uh, called postal, the zip code or name or city or address, we're gonna use this template instead. We want them to use our own template. And again, this is just for a simple problem. If we want to do this generic, it will be in case that the item type is a string, in case that this is the date, date and in case that and we can make a, an example for that. So in this case, we are going to, of course, disable that they cannot open a little view because we want the edition to happen on the list view and not double click open a little view. But besides that, that's it. We're going to create, take these templates and use them as our uh, editable uh, columns. So if we go to one of those, so let's start for the one that uh, edit address template, we can see right here that we are using the text box. This is a, just a string, so we're going to use the text box and we're going to bind it to our address on our business object. So right here we have, as always, this is one thing that uh, you can see along the lines of dependency injection in Blazor, we are injecting our application provider. And with that application uh, provider, we're going to be able to create our application and with that application create a object space. And our object space will allow us to go find the object, modify it, commit, and so on. But basically, after that, we're going to uh, return our template that basically is just a text box. If we go to the city, same implementation for the text box. So I think this will be doesn't have to be a different one. But you see, right here, we can do anything that we need. We can add a calendar control. We can add a Boolean control. So we basically only have to inject what is the type of control on that template for that, uh, for that grid. Now, if we run this, and let's give it a second. coming. Hopefully the, the demo got at with me today that's taking a little bit. By the way, that's basically it. 
we take a controller, we tell them, okay, in this list view, please use my, my templates for my grid, and we're going to we're gonna be able to start editing our, our records in, in, in line mode. So let's it's coming. And here we go. You see, we have our record here with our custom templates, and right here we can edit. And because we are actually committing there, we don't even have to, to save. It's done by us. Of course, this is just a sample. If we have a, a lot, a lot, a big amount of records, we will don't want to be committing all the time. We just want to be committing at the end, but then we can actually do another implementation. My point is like we can integrate a dev extend grid, we can integrate a infusion grid, or we can use custom templates and only make editable whatever we need to make it available. So that's it for this demo.